YouTube, it's your girl Rose. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And if you're new, hey guys, I really hope you enjoy my videos. And if you want a chance to win a the Jaclyn Hill times Morphe collab palette, make sure to enter the giveaway. Uh, I will link the video down below so you guys can go ahead and check out the rules. The giveaway ends on August 31st, that is the day that I will be announcing the winner. By the title of the video, I will be doing a natural back to school makeup look for you guys. So first of all, what grade are you guys going into? Are you in middle school? Are you in high school? Are you going to college? If you're going to college and you probably haven't started yet or you will very soon. And if you're in high school, then I'm guessing you guys are already back in. Um, I am not in high school, I am in college, so I'm going to do something that I would probably do, do like on an everyday basis, um, just because, you know, when I was in high school, like, yeah, sometimes I had my face beat, other days I was like, sweatpants, sweater, like, let's. Go. Enough of me rambling, let's just jump right into the video. And yeah. Just start off by putting my hair in a ponytail. Yes, I did dye it black. Yes, this is my natural hair. Yes, it is curly. So first product we're using today is going to be the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. This is a drugstore foundation. I was going to go ahead and use my Fenty, but I realized that it's a little too light for me because it's summertime and I went to water parks and it got a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and use this in the shade uh, 20M401. No, I know a lot of people usually like, I just put it onto here and I just dab it a little bit and then I put it onto my skin. I don't like, I used to take my time and be like, da, 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 da. but since ain't nobody got, I ain't got, if it's, seven in the morning and I'm getting ready for school like I ain't got time for all that like I'm just gonna dab it on and literally bitch like you better look good but I will say that what I do take like hella time with is just like blending so like yes I might just kind of throw it onto my face but I will distribute it and then I will like blend for like 20 minutes <laughs> So if you did start school, how is how do you feel? What like I already asked you guys what grade you're going into, but how are you guys feeling? Because I remember when I would go back to school, like I just wasn't ready for it. I mean, even going back into college, it's kind of it's kind of just like dang. I have to make my brain work again. Um. So after this, I either go in to, with my um my highlighter or I go in with my bronzer I know like I said really weird steps but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my highlighter and I think this is like the fastest I've ever done my makeup because I swear to you guys when I do my makeup I take like five shilling years so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going in with my morphe 35o palette um 35-0, 35-O, I don't know. But I'm using the shade. It's like a rose gold shade, but it also makes for a really good uh, highlighter just because my glow kit kind of like broke, aka I've had it for years now, and I'm out of it, and I've been meaning to go makeup shopping, but your girl procrastinating, your girl broke. So it does the job. It actually really does the job. So I'm happy about that. And then, you know, a little bit to the bridge. Not everybody likes doing the same thing, but I like putting it on my bridge and then on my nose, the tip. Oh, that's a little too, that's a little too much. We gotta blend that in, sis. We gotta, we gotta, don't judge me yet. I'm gonna blend it in. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on, you know, high peaks right here. That's the job. I know my nose is looking crazy. Please don't attack me. Please, please. I mean... I know I probably would say something to somebody if the shit looked like that, but I'm going to blend it. And I've noticed this kind of goes uh, on a little bit smoother than if you were to have translucent powder on. I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just making shit up. <laughs> I want to do a recreation video of like how I did my makeup in high school. If you guys want to see that, please comment down below. I feel like it would be something fun to watch. 
or messy i don't know because i used to low-key have like cholita eyebrows if you don't know what cholita is uh i'll share the picture of, like somewhere right here i'm done with that i'm gonna go hop in with my bronzer which is actually this one the matte bronzer from nyx and i just go in and do what you do with bronzer and i like this look this really natural look just because you be glowy your skin just looks natural um but you can still slay i'm going in with my modern renaissance palette yes it is dirty yes i know um i try to keep it clean for a really long time but this material is just like yeah my my, my shit just dirty um this material is just it doesn't like to stay clean let's just leave it at that so i'm just gonna go ahead with my beauty blender i already put concealer on my eyelids no not right now but when i was doing my eyebrows so it's just kind of sitting there i'm gonna go ahead and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a flat brush and i'm gonna go in with the color um tempera which is right over here i don't know if it's focusing but if it's not it's the lightest color that there is on the palette just put that all over the lid this is the most simple tutorial ever. If you don't want to have the modern renaissance palette, don't worry because you can use any natural um, palette to do this. You can even use your bronzer. Literally your bronzer if you just want to do something really natural, just literally put it in your crease and you set i've said this before like it's the easiest thing after this i'm just going to go in with golden ochre and raw sienna so golden ochre is right here and then raw sienna is this one right here in the bottom blend it together just grab a little bit of golden ochre grab a little bit of raw sienna tap it off to do circular motions or i just do wind wiper motions and it blends in with my eyelid color so when it's like that i either just um darken it a little bit by adding a darker color in the crease by adding a darker color in the crease or something that just leave it alone depending on how i feel and then i pop a color i pop a highlight color into my inner tear duct i think that's what it's called right inner tear duct and after that then just pop on some mascara bitch and like get your day going i'm stuck between putting in some red ochre or putting some Relgar. Relgar is orange and red ochre will, I think it's very obvious in the name. It is red. So I think I'm actually just going to add a little bit of red ochre into the end of the... And you don't have to do no extra, like, believe me, you don't have to do anything extra like this. You literally can just do face and go. You don't have to do eyeshadow. Put on your foundation, your BB cream, or whatever it is that you use. The good thing about the Modern Renaissance palette is that it blends so easily. The colors blend in so nicely that you don't really have to worry about anything. But one side is darker than the other, so I'm just kind of trying to blend it out. Okay, it still looks natural, right? Right? I think so. And then I'm just gonna like, go ahead and blend it in with this one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Have you guys watched <clears throat> Oh, To All the Boys Have Ever Loved? That movie was so cute, I swear I cried. I also wanna go watch Crazy Rich Asians in theater by myself. Why'd I do that? Like, I set myself up to cry. But then again, I did cry in Dory, so... And I'm just going to grab some of Primavera, which is in the palette. I will pop it right into my tear duct, whatever. Pop it in a bit. Pop it in a bit. So unprofessional. Oh my gosh, she uses her fingers. So unprofessional. Who else can relate to me? And then let me go ahead and put on my mascara, and I will be back in a second. Alright guys, so I'm back, mascara is on, and the last step, last but not least, this was my favorite when I did looks like this because I would just throw some lip gloss, I was going to say lip gloss, alright, because I usually put some lip gloss on, um, but I don't have any lip gloss right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this because it's the same thing, yes, I use a mirror for it, no, don't judge me, yeah, it's definitely a look. 
very natural very you know i always look back when i'm editing my videos it's so funny to watch this because it's like sis what are you doing anyways we have reached the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not part of the family don't forget to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time i post a new video and don't forget to enter the giveaway don't miss out on the chance to get this palette that i don't even own i don't even own it and i want it Alrighty guys, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye. Really I got the bag. Tell a friend. She got some ass. Bring it in.